country in your UNG speech, but um, it's a country that we've tried very hard to de-hyphenate in our foreign policy, but it is on somebody's mind here. Vishal Chawla would like to ask, United States just released funds for Pakistan related to, um, he says, purchase of F-16, but I would like to remind them it was not purchase, it was maintenance of F-16 fleet. Uh, so the question is, um, how is the U.S. policy towards India evolving? Does it differ along Republican and Democratic lines? And um, I guess he wants to know that uh, in press, at least, we keep going back and forth. Uh, there are high moments, and there, then there are moments like this F-16 moment. And um, what would be your opinion about that? Well, uh, I think uh, it would be, uh, today I can say, by and large, there is a bipartisan view of India. It's not that one party is strongly for and another is against it. And to a large extent, uh, politics is also very individual. So some leaders, uh, some prominent figures in each party would take more interest. Others may not take the same, same level of interest. So I would attach no sense of partisanship at all uh, when it comes to uh, India. The, uh, the second question, the, really the number of the question, which is in a sense the U.S. Uh, 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 relationship with Pakistan and the the military relationship that uh, the U.S. has had. Now you all know that this is not something of recent making. It has gone on for many years. And you also know that uh, very honestly it's, it's, a, it's a relationship that has neither ended up serving Pakistan well nor serving American interests well. So it is really for the United States today to reflect whether this, you know, what are the merits of this relationship, what do they get by, uh, by keeping it uh, sort of uh, uh, continuing. Because at the end of the day, you know, for someone to say, I'm doing this because it is for counter-terrorism, when you are talking of an aircraft like the capability of the F-16, I mean, we are, everybody knows, you know, where they are deployed and what is the use and what is their capability. So, uh, you know, you're not fooling anybody by saying these things. So, the the point is, uh, we we really think uh, countries finally make their choices based on their own interests. And I would make a you know a case if I were to uh, speak to a, a American policymaker, I would really make a case saying, look. What you are doing, forget about us for a moment. It's actually not good for you, what, what you are doing. Reflect on the history. Look at the last many years of where this relationship has taken you. And, and how much, you know, what a cost you have paid for it. Thank you. And